it seems hardly a day goes by without yet another story about the high cost of gasoline or about the damage being done to the environment by automobiles. Well, UC Berkeley is trying to help society move beyond our dependence on oil. Here at the Institute of Transportation Studies, researchers have just gotten their hands on a new test vehicle. I'm here with Tim Lipman. He's the co-manager of the research project. Tim, what is this car? Well, this is an electric vehicle that runs on hydrogen. So it uses a device called a fuel cell to produce electricity from hydrogen gas, and that electricity then drives an electric motor. The name of the car is the F-Cell. Lippmann and his colleagues have just received it from its manufacturer, Daimler Chrysler. You drive many, many miles. You have fun driving, driving these miles because every mile you drive, uh, you collect data for us. The research team will have the car for the next two years, getting drivers' reactions to the car and seeing how it holds up under real-world conditions. I really do feel like a kid on Christmas morning here uh, because I've been studying these fuel cell vehicles for about 12 years now, and I really am amazed at the technical progress that Daimler Chrysler and uh, some other companies have made over that period. The F-Cell has been in the works for more than 10 years and is considered the cutting edge of automotive technology. Daimler Chrysler and its partner Ballard, which makes the fuel cell, have produced several versions of the car over the years. The breakthrough for this generation of the car came when engineers figured out how to put the fuel cell in the floor, making the look and feel of the car closer to conventional gas vehicles. Okay, so here's the key. Okay. So go ahead and put it in. It starts up pretty much like a regular car, but you'll see it's a little different. Go ahead and push it in. Now turn it on. Now push a little further and now let go. And you can see the car is now going through its startup routine. You'll see it says 30% already. It'll go to 60% and then to 90%, and then the little max power needle will start to come up. And when that reaches the green zone, it's just doing now, now it's saying it's okay to start. So now we can go ahead and put it into drive. Okay. This part is all the same? Yep, yeah, just like a regular car. Same and forward goes. we go. Hydrogen fuel can be produced from a variety of sources, one of the cleanest being wind power. While there are still questions about the environmental effects of producing large amounts of hydrogen, Lippmann says the technology holds much potential. If you really want to find a fuel that will dramatically cut carbon emissions in the long term, and that can also be produced domestically, and that also addresses air pollution, I really don't think there's a better option than hydrogen at this point. Now again, there are some key technical and economic hurdles, but there's no more promising alternative out there than this hydrogen technology. And Lippmann says the fuel cell cars are at least as safe as gasoline-powered cars. But before these cars can hit the road in large numbers, car makers must find ways to get them to travel more miles before refueling. The hydrogen takes up a lot of space, only allowing the F-cell to drive about 100 miles before it needs a fill-up. It'll also be about 10 years before there will be enough fueling stations to make it practical for people to buy the cars. Although they'll have fewer maintenance costs, the fuel cells are still more expensive to make than gasoline engines, and they don't stand up to freezing temperatures like conventional cars. But Daimler Chrysler says those problems will be solved, and that their investment in the car will be worth it. One thing is uh, uh, introducing a clean technology into the market. The other thing is ensuring Daimler Chrysler's future, because this will be the future, and uh, maybe within the next 20, 30 years, there will be no more um, combustion engine being produced, so we have to get ready uh, not to miss the promising technology. Daimler Chrysler has built 60 F-cell prototypes which are being tested around the world. The company placed about half of those vehicles in testing locations in California, because California is a leader in requiring cleaner running cars. The goal is to try to get these cars into the hands of the public by the year 2015, and they'll be the cleanest cars ever produced. In fact, all that comes out of the tailpipe is steam and a little water. I'm Roxanne Makashjan in Berkeley. Cheers. <laughs>